All right, friends, tonight's dinner, we are having pork chops, roasted corn, roasted in the oven, um, canned sweet potatoes that I'm caramelizing in butter right now, and beet greens, which I'll be, those will be in another video. You'll see them soon. So let me get you turned around so you can see what we've got going. So for dinner tonight, we have some corn roasting in the oven. We've got some beautiful pork chops cooking from our friends over at Jaro's Family Farm. We've got some sweet potatoes getting caramelized in some butter. These are canned sweet potatoes, so they hold on to some of their um, syrup after I drain them, and then that just kind of combines with the butter in the pan to make caramel, to make caramel, and that is really delicious. And then we're gonna throw these beet greens in the pan and get them cooking. Our corn is out of the oven. Look at these delicious pork chops. If you're in the Chattanooga or Cleveland area, I'll put the uh, information for who I get those from. And then look at those caramelized sweet potatoes. That's going to be delicious. And that is our dinner for tonight, friends. Looks like we're going to taste the rainbow. All right, friends, dinner tonight is Philly cheesesteaks cooked on the uh, Blackstone with some home-baked buns. And that is a monster Philly cheesesteak and some three bean salad and some chips for dinner tonight. So tonight we're having uh, fish tacos for dinner. And in here I have uh, flounder fillets that I got from Aldi and olive oil, salt, a little bit of granulated garlic, a little bit of granulated onion, cumin and chipotle powder and i am going to mix this around so everything gets well coated and then probably in about 30 minutes i will cook these up on the blackstone still using holiday bags so i have a four burner blackstone i have this first eye off the second two on medium and the last one on low i'm just going to warm my tortillas over here on the low side and then i'll cook my fish right here and I'm going to not show you me putting those on because I can't film and do that at the same time. All right, so our fish fillets are down and our uh, tortillas are down. And just in the time it took me to get the fillets on the griddle, these are ready to flip. I'm just gonna do that by hand because I have asbestos fingers. I don't uh, suggest that you guys do it that way. Somebody's shooting fireworks, it sounds like. It's always nice having neighbors. So my first set of tortillas is already off of the griddle, and I am about to flip this fish. Let's see if I can get up here under one of them. And I'm going for these flaking apart. Um, that's part of making them into fish tacos, so I don't want you guys to think that I'm just like doing this recklessly or something. Um, I'm going to get the rest of these flipped over and then I'll start chopping them up. Now you can see my fish is all chopped up and my second set of tortillas are ready. I'm going to get these on the plate and we're going to head inside and uh, have some dinner. So, just a tip, if you have a black stone, make sure to do your preliminary scrape of the griddle while it's still warm. You'll get a lot more of the food up that way. After we eat, I'll just come back out and re-season this. And because it's so humid here where I live, I re-season it every time. And there is my hubby's plate. He's got uh, the little bitty shells with fish, cabbage, uh, pineapple salsa, and cheese. And then I have mine with fish, cabbage, a little bit of pineapple salsa, and a little bit of sour cream. So that is dinner tonight, guys. 
Since I managed to actually find chicken thighs this week, I am going to put some in uh, each of these bags and then I'm going to pull three of them out to put into jambalaya later this week. But one bag is going to get some bourbon chicken marinade and I'm going to let that marinade overnight. And then the other one I'm going to season up just the way that I like to season chicken thighs to go out on the grill. And that's with olive oil, salt, garlic powder, and smoked paprika powder. Um, so I'm going to get those going. All right, we've got these seasoned up. And this is the chicken with garlic and smoked paprika. Really, again, my favorite way to season chicken to go on the grill. Three chicken thighs in here to go with jambalaya later. And then this is the, this is the chicken thighs and the bourbon chicken marinade. So this will go in the fridge till tomorrow. This is tonight. This will go in the freezer until we're ready to have jambalaya. So I'm getting ready to throw some chicken thighs and asparagus onto the Blackstone using the Blackstone a lot this year or this time of year. And naturally I'm making videos so the neighbor is out with the tractor again. Um, I had to move up under here because it's about to storm. So my chicken thighs are down, my asparagus is down. I'll probably cook the asparagus for about four minutes on each side and the chicken thighs will probably go about seven minutes on each side. So I went ahead and flipped the chicken thighs over and they are looking gorgeous. And then down here you can see we're starting to get some browning on the asparagus. I'll just keep stirring that every now and again until it gets a little more browning. But the skies are getting nasty. Those are some dark, nasty looking clouds, guys. It is just starting to sprinkle. And I've got about three minutes left on my chicken thighs. So the asparagus is done to my liking and I'm gonna go ahead and get that off of the grill. Just a little windy, guys. And the crazy farmer is over, still running his tractor too, even though it's lightning like crazy. So I just got the food off the grill and the rain is blowing in sideways. So I guess it's time for me to go in and for us to eat dinner. Farmer finally went in too. And guys, tonight's dinner is baked beans, grilled chicken thighs, and grilled asparagus. Yum yum. So this is probably my last meal that I'm gonna show for this video. And you can see maybe how I'm working this oil over my Blackstone. That's kind of what you want to do or how you want to spread it out when you put your oil down. I didn't put a lot of oil down. It just, once you're well seasoned, it kind of doesn't take as much. So I've got this side set for a higher temperature. This is where I'm going to throw my vegetables and then I'm going to throw my chicken over here. So we've got our vegetables on and it smells like the county fair out here because of the uh, peppers and onions cooking. Some of you will get that. And I'm going to get my chicken thighs over here. So my chicken thighs are on now. I'm just going to let them sit for a little bit. And I'm going to get to stirring up these vegetables. That is hard to film and show. Now that I've got a little color on these, I'm going to put them down on about medium heat. Alright, we've given these a flip. I know they look burnt. I promise they're not. It's just the marinade that we use browns up really dark and then it looks darker on the camera than it actually is when you look at it. Um, and our veggies are ready and sitting over there waiting for us. I'm going to give these another minute or two, and then I'm going to start chopping them up, and then we will put the um, bourbon chicken 
glaze on them. And then dinner will just about be ready. All right, so I've chopped all the chicken up and mixed the vegetables together with the chicken. And we're gonna hit it with this bourbon chicken sauce and then I'll be pulling this off the grill. The bourbon chicken sauce is on there now and I am just kind of tossing it all around. I've already turned the grill off. But if you make this on your blackstone, you will have to clean your blackstone afterwards. And you use something this sugary, it's going to require cleaning and not just a scraping. So I just made some rice in the Instant Pot, uh, two cups of long grain rice, two cups of water, and a little bit of tamari or soy sauce. Let that go for six minutes on high and then come down on natural release and you've got nice fluffy rice. And that is our plate tonight. And like I said, this is the last uh, video for the meals of the week for this week and we'll get started on some new stuff tomorrow. See you again soon, guys.